we are going to explain superoxides in this video welcome to the hypothesis series of this channel we will talk about superoxides today first of all we need to know what is a superoxide and why is it super superoxides are special kind of oxides containing the superoxide ion it is created when some metals are oxidized which mainly applies for alkali metals Potassium, rubidium and cesium are well known for creating superoxides. Potassium superoxide is the most well known stable and stable superoxide. But first of all we need to understand the superoxide ion. A superoxide ion is an oxygen based ion with a 3 electron bond and a negative charge. As the name suggests there is a 3 electron bond so the bond order is 1.5. It is also shown by the calculation down. Now the question is how the oxygen atoms feel octet or how is the 3 electron bond created. If we wish to understand this 3 electron bond first we will need to perceive the mechanism use and functionality of covalent bond. When talking about bond orders we usually think about sharing integer pairs of electrons. But it could be different as bonds in superoxides, dioxygenyl and nitric oxide. As said previously the structure of a superoxide is MO2 where M is an alkali metal. As alkali metals usually show an oxidization state of plus 1, the oxidization state of oxygen is minus 0.5. This is a such unusual state of oxidization of minus 0.5 but that is not the field of interest here. The topic we will be discussing today is the formation of 3 electron bonds. Here begins the hypothetical part. Please don't be confused with triple bonds. Triple bonds use 6 electrons or 3 pairs of electrons while the 3 electron bonds only use 3 electron. So the triple bond uses twice electrons as the 3 electron bond resulting much more bond energy stability and utilization. To understand these bonds, we need to understand the structure of the oxygen atom first. The oxygen atom has 6 electrons in its outer shell. Two oxygen atoms use their 2px and 2py orbitals to create bonds. As O2- ion is an anion, it has a bond order of 1.5 or 3 by 2. First two electrons are coming from 2px orbital. This is a structural diagram of the 3 electron bond. We can assume that the oxygen shared the third electron is giving two electrons and to the bond. two lone pairs. And the other one has shared or given one electron to the bond. And has two lone pairs along with an unpaired electron. If the first oxygen who has shared one electron is A and the other one is B, A has two lone pairs and three electrons from the bond and one unpaired electron for filling octet. And B has two lone pairs and three electrons from the bond so it has total seven electrons. And it receives another electron from potassium or other alkali metals to fill its octet. Now some extra tips to recognize superoxides. In a oxide of structure AXOY, if Y by X equals to valency of A by 2, the structure is a simple oxide. If Y by X is more than the half of the valency but not more than the valency itself, if Y by X is twice of the valency or it is even more then it could be a superoxide. For example, PbO2 is an oxide and KO2 is a superoxide and Na2O2 is a peroxide. And the calculations also suggest that. More on the list, Al2O3 or aluminium oxide is an oxide and also P4O10 or phosphorus pentoxide is an oxide, CrO5 or chromium pentoxide is a peroxide and HO2 is a covalent superoxide. That's chemistry for today. 
नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल बी अबाउट फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री स्टे कनेक्टेड फॉर केमिस्ट्री वीडियोज़